for Eurovision. And I believe that I want to bring everything back to the Irish. Yeah. You've gone from bridesmaid to bride? Yeah. Yay! 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 <laughs> Delighted. And she deserves I it. I can't believe it. I think someone should just smack me in the face with like a book or something. Because I'm like, me and Hayes are like, is this real life? Do we is this real life? <laughs> what was it like? I'm just waiting to wake up now. What really, was yeah. it like at the end, especially with kind of the, the fudged result? I mean, that was really Oh, yeah. That yeah. Was really yeah. Did, you, did you realise? Did I didn't you? even realise. No, I was like, oh my God. I didn't. I was like, looked away. We all talked, won it. We all knew we won it. We were just, yay. And then we looked at us at night and night and I'm like, what? Oh my God, I just made a show. <laughs> Shy was all the numbers were going everywhere. I didn't even know how to count at that stage. I was like, are we winning or what? Are we what the heck is going on? Like, <laughs> it, 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 it's a good way of doing it, I think, because it does help with the fifty-fifty means that you have fifty percent of the checks and votes coming in, and fifty percent of the jury. So it, it means that if there's somebody out there who is getting on social media, and like we didn't get any help, I have, as you know, a family full of uh, my brothers in the wanted. I didn't get any help there. I wanted to do this on my own. That's so and so. And no, I didn't. I didn't get no. But I didn't ask for the help. I didn't yeah. want it, right? And I am so delighted that I did it myself. Yeah. And the we true, did it the, the true, the true thing came out. The whole. Of we Ireland. did. We did a lot yeah. of radio shows. We did a lot of TV stuff that doors didn't open for us, and a lot of doors were open for other people. We didn't get that help, and we we believe we had a great song. And people. Just, just tell me again. Is there a, is there a story behind the story of the song? The story behind the song is that it is about us as a nation coming out of the darkness into the light. And it's a positive song, it's an, it's an anthem song. Even though it's heart, it, it is heart wrenching and heartbreaking, but it, it has a positive feeling. It's a positive feeling. Thing. Like, to some people it means something about love, to some people it resonates in a different right. way, but that's why it's so universal, it goes out to everybody. Okay. And that's what, way, that's what I wanted the song to do, I wanted the song to resonate with people. And we have been the last 10 years of just gloom and doom. Yeah. And uh, uh, even as Car uh, Carmen Battle rightly said, we've all had our ups and downs, we've all had our troubles. But now we have to just pick ourselves But up. you know how you're going to do that? Yeah. You have to get rid of that. Go yeah. Win, we need to win. win. win the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to win. Like, hopefully now it's not going to be the same like it was last year with yeah. Ryan Dolan. I think mm. hopefully they'll change it around this year. And I think that she, she can do it. I really, really believe she can do it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we it's can. a great turnaround for you as well. I mean, you've come through the disappointment of Wonderland you know, last year. Yeah. And I was kind of, I wasn't expecting to lose. I wasn't expecting to win either. So I was, I'm, was really in a limbo because I, it was a big chance for me to take to come back into the Eurosong again, especially what happened last year. But then I was like, no, well, this song is too good to pass down. Like, it's. Yeah. I heard it and I got butterflies literally in my stomach. I really did. A whole zoo in my stomach. <laughs> like, um, I couldn't say no. And, you know, you have to feel the fear, but do it anyway. It's, and that's what uh, I said to Casey the first night I met her in the car. I said, Casey, what have you got to lose? Just feel the fear and do it anyway. And she said to me, Hazel, I have that on my arm. That's what she says. Yeah. Yeah. Feel the fear. Yeah. Yeah. We're very spiritual, we're both very connected in that way. And we've spent the last two months in the car where we were doing a lot of promo work. And we're very connected in that way, and I'm so glad I got to do it with her because. And it, listen, we could all feel, feel the fear. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So the last year. But I suppose everyone is very heightened by what was happening. It's getting to the last stages. Yeah. Four months of hard work. Everyone feels the same way about their act. I mean, I wanted Casey to win as much as Patricia, um, Valerie wanted Patricia to win. Yeah. And it's so hard for us all because I worked with Valerie. I know Billy. I worked with uh, Cara Broderick. I, I know them all. Yeah. It's yeah. not very hard. But such a small place yeah. here. Yeah. Even yeah. in a village. And you do and think that everyone else as well obviously because yeah. I know what it feels like I'm still like oh you know congratulations and well done mm. yeah. but you do know what it feels mm. like and you know you just get up and do it again yeah and, and and do you say, they, do they you all have the their own side journey. Line stuff uh, affected how people performed out there tonight uh, the sideline is in what was going on you know, what's going on on the sideline you know the fellas fighting on the sideline um, I, I think Laura did a much better job I think she did yeah. a much better job because, after, of, that. because of that. Yeah, she yeah. gave yeah. the fire in the belly, do you know what I mean? Either way, yeah. whatever she happened with job. that, she was going to get up and she was going to do yeah. what she done best. Yeah. So, yeah. And they're all fantastic singers in their own right. Yeah. They absolutely are. There's no mm. doubt about that. I'm not going to be Miss Ward here and say, oh, you know, every, but everyone had a different song. Yeah. They were all different. Yeah. You know, so it's very hard to choose. You just have to let the public go. Which and that's what they did. Yeah. I'm so glad that they did. And are you, did you grow up at the Eurovision band? Oh, yeah, I was like four years of age, literally tap dancing, doing whatever dance I could in front of the Euro, with my family, had me popcorn and all my fizzy drinks, waiting. I was, I just remember that so clearly, just all the different countries and their different songs, and it was such a big Eventually. thing in our in yeah. our house anyway, so, yeah. and everyone's in Ireland. So. And what's your big Eurovision memory? Of, of any individual. Of any individual. Do you know what? I, I loved Lorraine Euphoria. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I just think it's a universal song yeah. for everyone, yeah. for the Eurovision and for me. She, she was number one after that as yeah. well. So yeah. I absolutely 
Love that. Was this, was this kind of like your last effort at this you were going to call it puts after no, this? No. no, for the Eurovision. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm a fighter. I'm telling you now, I would have kept doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, you have to keep trying. Yeah. If you love it that much, I could never give this up, ever. And I never will, so. Like, many doors are closed on me. Many doors, many times yeah. have I been yeah. knocked down and we have to get myself back up and dust it off. You just have to keep you going. You will make it. And if you'll you love the music, eventually. you'll do it. You will do it. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not my time now. I'm, I'm 20 years old. Well, it's now their ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so delighted. Oh, my yeah. God. The excitement. And, like, the song writing, it, yeah. it, it, it is a song contest. It is a song contest, but you know what? Our song was a great song. It was a great pop song. As much as people said, yeah, well, you know, it does, everyone, it's, it's a song contest. I saw what it was going to look like on stage before I even had the song. I knew I wanted the, uh, the Irish um, dancing. We did the, um, it's like the modern style dancing, like it's not under the diddly eye with the hands down by the side. It's the traditional, with mix of the modern style, Irish come tap dancing, like the way Prodigy and River Dance are doing it now. I wanted the Irish dancers in it from the moment I did the song. And that's why I added the bear one, that sound, with that tack 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 sound. Because people remember that from Eurovision and that sound motivation that we got. Yeah. That good feeling that we got. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to bring it back to. Yeah. I mean, I'm a pop singer. I, you know, I can write a pop song. Yeah. But I wanted it to be, represent Ireland. And of course, it'd probably be a different production by the yeah. time it gets over there. Yeah. Know. But no, I think it'll stay very similar. I mean, I'm the mentor and uh, RTE get involved now and they're going to bring it to company. But it's not going to change that much. I think we need to put on a show when we go there. I think, I mean, what Ryan Down did last year was an excellent job. Yeah. I think yeah. whatever yeah. happened over there and the, the yeah, black the whatever yeah. happened didn't deserve last yeah. at I mean, all of his it didn't deserve it. I thought it was up in the well, we were the it was yeah, yeah, we I, I, I couldn't believe it yeah. we were to, yeah. to do that I mean that, I, thought, I, I don't want that to happen for Casey because I know the song is going to but no matter what happens this is a platform for her now this yeah. is it world yeah. stage for her yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's enough. Oh, me have my nerves. <laughs> no pressure. You just have to well do it. No problem. Just what have you been doing the last year? Sorry. What have you been doing? I've been life? writing and recording and gigging. Right. So that that's just trying to keep in the music, you know, not necessarily, you know, in the limelight, yeah. but I was uh, writing and just trying to find myself as as a a and writer and an artist myself, and I love the song. This song was just perfect. It, it came into my life at the right, right time. So. And and did you have a day job as well? Were you doing? No, no? just gigging. Yeah. yeah. Just gigging. Yeah. yeah. So obviously doing enough to make a living. Oh yeah, and I have a great family behind me. They'll do. They know I love this, so they'll do any little thing. Where, where are you from again? Dublin. I'm from Dunham. Dunham. Yeah. yeah. And how do you know his? Oh, through this, through this scene. Yeah. Through, through the music. Yeah. Through the yeah. very I've been touring village. with Boys Own and. Yeah. We well, we've known each other. We met each other, but I mean, I contacted her. I didn't have her physically have her mobile number. I got her on Facebook. I just went through Facebook. Everyone. I went. Everyone's how am I going to get her? <laughs> okay. How am I going to get her? I'll just go through Facebook and I just got her and friended her and she she messaged. She was the one. Yeah. I knew it. I saw her last year doing it, and I knew that she's a much a potential as a much better singer than she did last year because the song was too quick for her last year. She couldn't show her voice, yeah. and when I gave it to her and I stood behind her the first night when she sang the song for me, I couldn't believe it. She did it ten times better than I expected. So I, there was no other choice. She was my one and only because she's young. She looks like a pop star. Do you know what I mean? And you remember Hazel going through all of this? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I, re I, re days. I remember Hazel. I remember um, Hey Now, Hey Now. And yeah. I used to be singing along to it. Never did I think that she'd be m my mentor. mentor. Yeah. Isn't it funny, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But, mad. but it's, isn't it nice to have a mentor who's a singer? Because yeah. I, like, yeah. I helped her out in that way yeah. too. Because even though she's a phenomenal singer, she, even when we were in the studio, I said, can you go up that little bit higher? Because I knew where I was supposed to go as a singer. Boom. Did it like that. No problem. So I was like, great, that's it. <laughs> One, two, three, fabulous. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> so she was in like in ten minutes. You'll have no fear now heading to the to the semi finals. I know it's the mm. second semi final. Uh, yeah, I will be nervous, I'll be yeah. nervous, but you just have, when you get up there you just do it, yeah. don't you? Obviously you know, I care about it so much and I want to do it for Ireland, so I will be nervous. You've played Crow Band. Get up and do it. <laughs> I know, yeah. yeah. Please, yeah, but you just you just try and pretend that they're not there and you just forget one person. I think the bigger gigs are the worst gigs. I mean, oh, the bigger yeah. gigs, not the smaller oh, the gigs smaller are the worst gigs. Are, yeah. The bigger gigs are fine because you can't see faces. You can't like see if, you, if you're singing in a room to 20 people, you can see their face and they're like, mm, that was or they like her, or they don't, and you're just like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> the bigger gigs are always the better gigs. So yeah. I, I absolutely trust that she can do that, no problems. I wouldn't have picked her if I didn't think she could go to Eurovision. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm so delighted for her. 
And show business is full of disappointments. More yeah, disappointments, it is. More disappointments, yeah. really. I know, I know it all. You've had those. You've had those. Oh, I've had, yeah. I've had them, yeah. But it's only given me more experience, do you know what I mean? I, I'll be where I'm meant to be. Every, every road will you know, open up, one door closes, yeah. and another opens. Mm. That's what I believe well, anyway. It's meant if you won't yeah. pass you, and I believe it's our time. Yeah, yeah definitely. How old are you now? I'm 23. 23. Boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. Yeah. Is he, is he? He's, He's downstairs, yeah. He's like, where's my wife? Where's the girl? We're gone. She's got a chance to sit with us for the whole night. Oh, God. Yeah. It's excitement. And, and your family, obviously, were they? Were Nanny, they? granddad, uncle, auntie, mum. Downstairs, yeah. In the so go down. I didn't really get to talk to them yet, but I'll go down. And but they were brilliant. Like, they helped on the tour. I mean, I have, I'm a mum of four children. I have lots to do when I went home. We were doing social media. We were doing, um, Casey's mum was doing all the posters. Like, it was a big campaign when you look at it. I mean, for, for, for us who had jobs as well, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, it was very busy, and uh, Casey's mum just pulled in and said, yeah, I'm going to that pub tonight now, and I'm going to put all the posters in all the different pubs, so. You just have to do what you, you can to do. do. Yeah. Try no matter how big a campaign is or whatever, we done what we could, could do yeah. on our scale. And yeah. obviously it's paid off. Paid off. Yeah. So. And how, how, how old is your grandmother? Oh my god, she's she kill oh, she kill she's me. She's 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 Sixty nine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give her any more. She gonna be George. She gonna be George. She's gonna be George. She's like, like Casey, pull your skirt. I was like, it's down. It's down. Do you know the way nannies are? And take that lipstick off. That's great. That's great. That's important. That's important. But I wouldn't be able to do it without my family and my friends and Hazel. And it was just all fit fit in. The puzzle just came together. Yeah. Stop. It's a tense puzzle at the end now, mind you. And what's the plan now? Are you, are you, are you going to head off around Europe to we're, do we're, your campaign? Then? Well, whatever, we, we sort of move into RT territory now. They okay. sort of take over. So I, I'm the mentor and I'll stick by her for whatever whatever has to be done. Yeah. But RT sort of do the, the run of getting it to the company. It's not going to change that much. Yeah. I don't believe it's going to change. I think we had a, we had a great show. Do you know what I mean? I, the Irish dances came out and everyone's going to remember um, Eurovision 20 years ago with the Irish dance and I think that's what we need to yeah, bring it back into now. I don't think it's going to change. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you very much. A few more dinners now. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Frozen dinners in four children have uh, pieces of chips again tomorrow. <laughs> Can we do a short bit as well? Course, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, happy, yeah.